A supplement's a scam, they cost good money, and when we take them, we don't really feel anything. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the research into supplements to find out whether we actually need them or whether they just make our pee more expensive. But first, g'day legends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow and I'm the traveling scientist, currently living here in Lawn, Australia. And on this channel, we explore science-based ideas and techniques to help you live a smarter, happier, and healthier life. Now, when I say supplements, I'm talking about vitamins, minerals, chemicals, and herbal products that are taken for their potential health benefits. But there's many studies out there that have proven that supplements don't actually have a big impact on our health. A noteworthy example of this is the 2013 paper that was published in the prestigious medical journal, The Annals of Internal Medicine. Annals? Annals. Annals, the Annals of Internal Medicine. Yes, prestigious medical journal. And the paper was entitled, Enough is Enough. Stop wasting your money on vitamin and mineral supplements. That's literally what they called it. Yet the supplement industry is a growing multi-billion dollar industry. People are still buying supplements. So why is that? When I was growing up, my father always said, Jesse, supplements are just a bloody waste of money. You get all the nutrients you need from your diet. But if you look through my YouTube channel, you'll see plenty of videos of me talking about the potential health benefits of various supplements. So what happened here? Was my dad wrong? Am I wrong? Well, as I grew up, my diet changed and I came to the realization that yes, you can get all of your essential nutrients from your diet if you eat a perfectly balanced diet, but not many people eat a perfectly balanced diet. Come on, buddy, let's be real. Some people don't eat many fruits or vegetables. Other people won't eat fish or meat. And some people live off junk food. I only eat pizza. Pizza every really? day. Every meal. Every day. Wow, really? It's life. And no judgment, you can eat whatever you want. Your diet is a product of your upbringing. But for the majority of you, your diet is probably lacking some essential vitamins and minerals. I ate a couple other things, but I got you waffles, okay. cereal. For example, omega-3 fatty acids are really important for your brain health. They reduce inflammation, they help with your mental health, and they're really protective of your heart as well. And the best source of omega-3 fatty acids by far is fish. I don't eat fish. Fish are scaly and smelly and they breathe water, which is weird, and then they have sex in that same water, which is messed up and I do not eat fish. As a result of this, I don't get many omega-3 fatty acids in my diet. This is where a supplement can be highly valuable. I know that I'm deficient in that nutrient, so I'm gonna take that supplement to supplement my diet with the very thing that I know it's lacking. Well, let's look at vitamin D. We all get our vitamin D from the sun, right? Well, what if you work inside all day? What if you live in winter and you're constantly clothed up from head to toe? Or what if you live here in Australia where everybody who steps outside gets skin cancer? What do we do then? Let's face it, most of us don't get enough sunlight anymore. And if you do, good for you. But again, the majority of people in the world are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for your gut health and your bone health. And it helps the absorption of other nutrients like calcium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. That means if you're low in vitamin D, you're likely to be low in all those other nutrients as well. So it's worth getting tested to check your vitamin D levels. And if you are low in vitamin D, it's really cheap and easy to take a daily vitamin D supplement. Another quick example is vitamin B12, cobalamin. It's really important for your nervous system, but it's only found in animal products. So if you're a vegan, you don't eat animal products, all you need to do is take a vitamin B12 supplement, problem solved, you'll be fine. Don't get me wrong, supplements can be a waste of money. And if you're taking a multivitamin because you think it'll make you healthier, that's a waste of money. But if you know that you're lacking something in your diet, be it omega-3, vitamin D, B vitamins, iron, magnesium, calcium, then supplements are a simple and effective way to get the extra nutrients that your body needs. That being said, self-prescription of supplements should probably be avoided. And if you think that you might be lacking in a certain nutrient, you can get your vitamin and mineral levels tested to see what you're actually missing out on. Talk to your doctor or your pharmacist about it. They'll advise you if you actually need a supplement that's going to be beneficial to your health. Look, supplements might not be a miracle cure. In fact, they might not even do anything for some people, 
but if you're missing certain essential nutrients from your diet, then the right supplements could be extremely valuable for you. Because a supplement is just that. It's a supplement. It's there to supplement your diet, to complete it or enhance it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching Legends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of my other stuff just up here. Make sure you subscribe for more Traveling Science every Science Sunday. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. Explore science-based facts and somethings and that not right. We explore science-based themes and ideas. Themes? Science-based themes? What's wrong with you? Why would anybody eat fish? What's wrong with you people? Published in the prestigious... Pre prestigious... Come on buddy, you are not that healthy.